Hey guys, Brian from Brian Bowers here. Well, I just got a little surprise. I was doing my uh, my weekly maintenance on a Friday evening. Looked in my Pearl Island Boas cage and she's actually given birth. So the 2021 locality boa birthing season is officially off to a start. This female, I thought she was actually gonna give birth around the end of June and she had a shed on March 15th. But actually, I just checked her record. She had a shed on February 2nd. So if you add 100 and, uh, 105 days or so to February 2nd, you get around right now. So, you know, sometimes we misinterpret which is and which isn't the post ovulation shed. Um, so you always have to be on your toes. It's always exciting breeding these wonderful animals. So I'm gonna take a quick look at the female. I see some babies in there. I'm not sure if she's done giving birth yet. So I'm just gonna assess the situation, check things out, make sure she's okay and see what's going on. So I went ahead and I took out the cage furniture. I've just been watching her for a few minutes. I'm pretty sure she's done giving birth. So I'm gonna just take a quick look in there. Sometimes the females can be a little testy after giving birth, so I don't want to get too close. You can see there's one slug there. Uh, there's a couple babies behind her. I think a few underneath her. There's a couple over at the other end of the cage. I don't know if you can see those guys there. Um, she really looks deflated. This female was really big, and now if you look, her skin looks kind of loose and kind of saggy. And like I said, I'm pretty sure she's done giving birth. Normally when they're giving birth, they kind of line up against the side of the cage and they're real rigid and they move around, but she's just kind of sitting there. Again, I don't want to stick my hand in there because typically females can be aggressive right after giving birth. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera off, see if I can assess the situation and not get bitten. So I was able to gently examine her and I'm pretty sure she's done. You know, I really want to make sure she's done giving birth before the next step, which is to give her a good soak and, you know, clean her up a bit. Um, you know, sometimes right after they're done giving birth, they go into this really docile state and they don't uh, strike or anything like that. But then typically within uh, an hour or two, they get kind of aggressive and they defend their babies. So I think she might be in that state right now. Um, and what I did is I kind of gently examined her abdomen. I didn't see any swelling. She really does look deflated. So I think all the babies are have come out. And I see, I don't know, probably seven or eight babies uh, floating around the cage. So I went ahead and I removed the mother. And you can see I, now I have her soaking in some lukewarm water in one of these uh, Sterilite 14 gallon tubs. And this is important because it just cleans them up. It gets the smell of the babies off of them. And typically the smell of the babies can sometimes make them act aggressively. So I just want to remove that smell. And I'm going to give her a soak for about half an hour or 45 minutes. While she's soaking, I'm going to go and check on the babies. And yes, I'm going to obviously put something on top of this tub so she can't get out uh, while I'm checking on the babies. Just thought I'd give you a quick look inside the tub. She's actually being really calm right now, so hopefully that'll last. You know, I found that often my females are really calm after giving birth. You know, sometimes they can be aggressive, but she seems to be really calm right now. Well, now let's look at the babies. And first, I just wanted to show you this slug. This is an unfertilized egg. You can see that gooey mess. Sometimes they're kind of hard, rubbery, like this outer shell. Sometimes they're more gooey. Luckily, I only see one slug, and the rest look like they're live babies. Um, sometimes, you know, a female will have a litter of nothing but slugs, which is terrible. And so you probably don't want to scramble this up for an omelet, but I've heard that people will actually feed these to tagus and savannah monitors, you know, other garbage disposal type reptiles will eat these things, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now let's take a look inside, and it's going to be really hard to film while I'm trying to get these babies, so I'm gonna turn the camera off a second. So I went ahead and took out most of the cage furnishings, and you can see the babies here. Looks like we got seven beautiful uh, Pearl Island boas. Just, I just love, uh, just to take it in, you know, after all these months and months of hard work, uh, you know, after years of raising up these breeders, I mean, this is really what it's all about, these precious fleeting moments, you know, when you can just enjoy uh, a litter of boas that are taking their first breaths and you know new to the world. I went ahead and zoomed in on them. You could see they're all kind of piling up in the corner. 
which they do instinctively just to make them feel safe and uh, it's really hard to film them in the cage obviously and the lighting is pretty bad but I don't want to try to hook up my studio lights uh, just give them a minute I'm gonna take them out in a minute here and then into their temporary you know baby group housing and I'll get a sh some shots of them once I get them out of the cage um, yeah I mean moments like this you're just kind of speechless you just want to kind of take it in and you know really appreciate why you do this just wanted to give you a quick look at the tub I'm going to put these babies in this is a 56 quart Sterilite same tub as I'm soaking the mother in you can see very simple setup just some paper towels on the floor and a few crumpled up and I sprayed it down a little bit to keep them nice and moist okay so I went ahead and stuck the babies in this tub you can see they're all trying to get out gonna keep an eye on them and got seven little beautiful little pearl island boas here it's looking a little dull right now um, but of course they'll brighten up quite a bit after their shed in about a week to a week and a half and so I'm gonna keep them in this housing probably for about the first seven to ten days I would give them a few hours just to settle in and then come back and change the paper towels usually with a litter there's lots of goo and mess and the, you know the uh, amniotic sacs are still attached to the umbilical cords and you got a lot more to clean up but these guys are look really nice and clean uh, they're really well developed you know no premature babies uh, these pearl island boas are quite large you can see they look like they're probably around you know 20 21 inches so typically they have smaller litters of quite large babies my first litter two years ago was uh, five babies about this size and you can see it's, they typically have this cute little pink tongue with a little black tip I don't know if you saw that on that baby but these look the same and they look like they got some beautiful patternless and you know, reduced saddles on these Pearl Island boas so real happy with this first litter of 2021 so I just took the female out of the soaking gave her a brief examination she looks like she's uh, made it through quite nicely no signs of any retained babies or slugs or anything like that which is great um, I cleaned her cage really thoroughly let's see put down some fresh corrugated cardboard I wanted to remove any smell of the babies that might trigger aggression just so she can get back to normal you can see she's just kind of resting on the end of the cage under that uh, cork bark hide I'll go ahead and thaw a rat for her give her a meal tomorrow I'm sure she's uh, quite hungry it's always great to have a female get through birthing without out any issues it's really the main stress that I have is just worrying about these females and you know just hoping that everything's gonna go smoothly and there's not gonna be any issues with uh, the birthing process it's been a few hours I just thought I'd check on the babies and you can see most of them are kind of piled up in the corner over here usually they just kind of lie on top of each other for a few days you know I think it just makes them feel safer maybe in the wild if there's a predator and if there's a big pile of them the predator might you know grab one or two but most of the others will get away so it's kind of safety in numbers you can see it's just very simple just paper towels on the bottom and a few more paper towels and a water dish mostly to keep the humidity high uh, and usually, usually I spray down every uh, few hours just keep them nice and moist so they can shed in about a week or so and usually now I would change the paper towels because um, typically there's lots of this goo and afterbirth you know the amniotic sacs and pieces of yolk and stuff but this was a super clean litter these babies were really well developed no, none of them are premature so it was very clean and I don't even need to change the paper towels you know normally there's this smell that uh, is associated with baby boas being born and I really didn't really smell that at all this time so really super clean litter you can see I just have a simple heat mat underneath and I have it set with a thermostat to uh, about 88 degrees and the babies will stay in here for about seven to ten days usually I move them out to their individual um, tubs right before they shed at about 10 days of age and then after that I'll feed them but you know super happy with this litter you know beautiful Pearl Island boas and they'll look even nicer after they have their first shed 
Okay, so this is great. This is a wonderful way to kick off the 2021 birthing season with a surprise like this. I always have at least one or two surprises every breeding season, but I think this is the first time I've ever had a surprise kick off the birthing season. Incidentally, this is the earliest I've ever had a litter by about a month, which is you know part of the reason it's a surprise. And it's cool because I always see other breeders typically have their boa babies a little bit earlier, especially the morph breeders. Some people even start having litters like in January. So it's cool to have a litter on the ground and I'm just gonna really enjoy checking in on these babies over the next few days, seeing how they're coming. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted on the development of these babies, you know, when they feed and when they might be ready for their new homes. It's also cool that it was seven in the, in the litter and I'm gonna take that lucky seven as a really positive omen you know, for the upcoming boa breeding season and hopefully lots of great boas to be born in the next few months here at Brian Boas. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a line via social media. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.